Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop wise pest list. I am going to tell you about the crop pest of sesame, which is also known as gingery. So we are going to see about the pest of gingery. And uh, so I have already told you, uh, I am going to list out the insects which are said to be present in gingery. So it is the list. So the first one contains the name of the insect and the second one is scientific name and the third is family and the fourth one is order. So while seeing about them, the first one I am going to explain is leaf webber oral store and capsule borer. So where the scientific name is Antigastra cacta lavonalis. So while seeing about them, the major symptom of damage is said to be during the early stages of implantation. The plant is said to be dead, and that uh, why it is infested during the planting stage. The larva which is used to feed inside the flower, and also on the capsule formation. So, where the larva which is used to bore inside the capsule as well as feeds on the developed seeds. So, these uh, leaf webber uh, are also the leaf capsule borer. So, the antagastra species which is used to feed on the flowers as well as the capsule. So, which is used to uh, reduce the yield of gingerly in the field. So while seeing about their identification of pest to identify and reduce the um, go for the management measures. The identification is larva which is said to be greenish in color with the black head having short white hairs and the adult which is said to be medium sized moth with reddish white four wings, yellow four wings. And the next one is shoot webber uh, where um, you can able to identify them with the help uh, of these characteristics uh, the egg which is said to be flat and green which is said to be laid uh, singly on the leaves and the egg period which is said to be around four to five days and the larva which is said to be yellowish green with the black head and prothorax and the pupa which is said to be aptic pupa which um, where they said to be found in leaf folds as well as the pupal period is around four to six days and the adult I have you can able to see that in picture where the pale brownish moth with the elongated wings are the characteristics of shoot webber moth. So the economic threshold level for these insects like shoot webber or the shoot damage um, where you can able to see up to two larva per meter square or 10% of plant damage is the economic threshold level and on leaf damage the 10 larva per meter square in vegetative stage as well as 2 larva per meter square in reproductive stage can be uh, known as economic threshold level if these uh, level has been increased we must need to move for the management practices so the management for both uh, capsule borer leaf capsule borer or roller as well as uh, webbers so it is the management for both of these insects so the yearly sown Carif crop is said to be less infested than a late sown crop. So the early sowing is a better management and also we can able to go for intercropping with mung bean, pearl millet and the groundnut. So if these were not uh, enough, we can able to go for the chemical spraying with the spraying of quinal pus at 0.05 percentage concentration at 30th and 45 days after sowing or else we can able to move for two rounds of dusting with the posplane 4 percentage or else the malathion 5 percentage dust at 25 kg per hectare it is also even at 30 and 45 days after sowing you can able to go either on these sprayings and the next is hawk moth or dead uh, head moths so where it is a uh, yeah, family of sphinx caterpillars and the scientific name is acherontia sphinx so it used to get the name of deadhead moth based on this skeleton which is said to be found in the insects backside of the thorax uh, so that why it used to get the name of deadhead moth and the symptom of damage mm, where it is a gregarious feeder which used to defoliate the leaves so we can able to identify this pest with uh, the presence of larva in them so where the larva is said to be stout greenish with the obligate stripes and uh, they also use it to have a horn on the eighth abdominal segment is the characteristics of the larva and the adult which is said to be a brownish giant hawk moth you can able to see that in picture and it used to have a skull like appearance on the thorax and the abdomen it is violet and yellow bander and the four wings are dark brown and hind wings are 
yellowish with two black lines um, are the characteristics of the adult and the pupa is optic pupa where we can able to see them in the soil so while seeing about the biological characteristics uh, egg which is said to be yellowish laid singly on the leaves so we cannot able to easily identify the eggs on the plant surface so it is a difficult one and the pupa which i have already told you it is an optic one which is said to be found in soil and the management is deep plowing enough for the pupae to be blown out and the predation by infector insectress boards can be done and the destruction uh, uh, of hand picking collection and destruction of caterpillar is an effective method or else we can able to move for the dusting of pospolin 4 percentage or marathon 5 percentage dust at 25 kg per hectare at 30 days and uh, 40 day 45 days after sowing is the best management practice for hawk moth and the another important insect in gingerly is gall fly where the scientific name is asponidella sesami so the symptom of damage where the maggot used to feed inside the floral buds and uh, the affected bud which can be withered which can, which is to be shrinken or else dropped from the flower is the uh, maximum symptom of damage and they also used to harm here formation of gall like structure which uh, leads to the malformation of flower or capsule in the flower in the plant so the identification of pest where the larva which is said to be maggot with the whitish and the legs with the body tampered exteriorly so it was the picture of the gall fly the second one and the adult uh, first one and the adult um, which is said to be a mosquito like fly uh, which is used to be resembled like a mosquito so you can able to see that in the picture and uh, so the gall midge which is a whitish egg uh, which has to be inserted in the ovaries of the flower and uh, also the maggot which is used to feed on the ovaries and pupates in the bud adult which i have already told you it is a small mosquito like fly life cycle they can be able to complete three generation in a single cropping season of the gingerly because the li their life cycle is just to 25 days uh, so the management is the better we can be able to intercrop a gingerly with moon bean pale millet or else the groundnut so uh, these plants which you use to reduce uh, the spread of these insects and uh, clips we can be able to go for uh, galls and pigs and bones the shedded birds so because they use it to contain the parasitoid larva as well as eggs so we can also be able to conserve Laurel parasites of gall fly like Eritoma uh, dentipectus and uh, Bracon hebeter. So these insects can be able to conserve in the field. And also we must need to spray bud at the bud initiation stage the carboril and uh, at the rate of 2.5 kg or else dimethoid at 0.03 percentage in the field level. And the next important pest is leaf popper, where the scientific name is Orocious albic cinctus. So uh, the symptom of damage where the curling of leaf edges and uh, also the leaf which used to turn red or brown, and uh, it is also a vector of Sesamum phyllodi, which used to convert the reproductive parts into a vegetative parts. Uh, so the, it used to show a leaf like structure on the field so the leaf used to dry up and shed so the identification is light brown colored hoppers are said to be found in the field so the management is a removal and destruction of field loading infected plants and uh, we must also go for seed treatment with indoclopid or carpofuron and the spraying of monocrotopause to protect the insect from these sucking insects for about the first month after sowing also we, and also we can able to spray monocrotopause uh, 36 WSC or dimethoid at 30 EC at 500 ml per hectare which can be combined uh, and also we can able to go for a combined sowing of sesame with red gram at the ratio of 6 is to 1 and the next important insect is if it's where the scientific name is epis gossipy and the symptom is crinkling and curling of leaves so the later appearance um, leaves used to appear as shiny and sticky to the honeydew secretion which is caused by in these aphids so later it also used to lead for the secondary infections like pseudomod growth 
and also um, due to the honeydew inspection and also which gives it to cause a black coating on the leaf surface and the identification of pest is adult where is this yellowish to dark so the management is see treatment with imidacloprid and keeps the crop free of sucking pest over a month and uh, painting on stem with a mixture of monocrotopos uh, with the water is to water at the ratio of 1 is to 4 or imidacloprid at the ratio of water with a ratio of 1 is to 20 uh, 20 40 and 60 days after sowing is a better management practice for uh, aphids so i have given the lecture notes in the description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to basic agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you in the next videos